you want this? You want to figure out how you can get something like this? You gonna need to be a GOAT. Alright, so what's poppin' everybody? It's your man, Young Ida Costello, back again with another video. Now, like I've been saying for a long time, like I've been saying for this week, last week, and the week prior, it is back to school pickups week, but it is kind of coming to the end. School is coming up. It's almost over. I, I'm, 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 I'm about to be out of like top five to get to you guys, but it's all good. As you guys already know, I've been bringing to you guys the top five shirts, top five pants. Now for this video, everybody has been asking me where to buy jerseys for cheap. And um, I actually do have some keys. I actually do have some life hacks for you guys. So we are going to go ahead and get into those. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So sit back, relax, go to McDonald's and get you a Whopper because we are about to get it popping. Now, when it comes to buying jerseys and if you want to buy jerseys for cheap, the first thing that I recommend that you do is just you go to the thrift store. Now, when it comes to the thrift store, you can find anything at the thrift store. You can find pants at the thrift store. You can find shirts, hats, and even on a lucky day, you can find shoes at the thrift store. But the one thing that you find at a thrift store more than anything else is usually vintage clothing. So many people go to thrift stores. They give like old polo, old Tommy Hilfiger. There's so much of that stuff that I've seen and I've bought before. But one thing that they also always give to thrift stores are jerseys. Now, I am going to say that if you guys do mess with thrift stores, you're going to have to know how to point out what's a real jersey and a fake jersey. But if you guys can point that out, then you will be able to find a nice cheap jersey at a thrift store for like four or five dollars or maybe like eight bucks. What is eight bucks for a, a free good quality jersey, right? Now, here is the big key when it comes to buying jerseys for cheap. There is this website called Fanatics. I know a lot of you guys, wherever you are, you might have a Fanatics or a Lids locker room in your mall. This is what you do. You go to fanatics.com. So let's just say it's www.fanatics.com. You go to whatever jersey you want. So let's just say you got a baseball jersey. There's a basketball jersey or a football jersey. We're gonna choose baseball jersey. Boom, you see this New York Mets jersey? I picked this up by doing the Fanatics challenge, by doing the Fanatics scheme that I'm telling you right now. This is what you do. Go to www.fanatics.com. Let's just say you want a baseball jersey. Click MLB, click the MLB section, go to where it says jerseys, and at the top of every single website, every clothing website that you go on, there's always going to say lowest price, best selling, most popular, uh, highest price to lowest price. You go lowest price. You go lowest price and you keep scrolling. And then what's going to start to happen is you're going to start to see little kids jerseys and then you're going to start to see men's jerseys. And then you're going to start to see men's jerseys with the names on the back. This is what you do. When it comes to buying jerseys, especially when it comes to buying baseball jerseys, you need to make sure that you get the jerseys that are stitched. This jersey right here is stitched. This is a new aged jersey which is stitched. It has the new cool base technology going through it. This is a brand new jersey right it has the hold on i'm gonna turn around 360 view boom 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 had to hit you with a little rvd there this is a brand new jersey yes there is a name on the back and how do you do this you always go for the players that get traded think about it whenever the players get traded their jersey sales go down i would never wear a oklahoma city thunder kevin Durant jersey because i feel like if you walk out of the house wearing the jersey like that you gonna look kind of stupid. But just think about the jersey prices when Kevin Durant left OKC to go to the Golden State Warriors. You were finding OKC Thunders jerseys for like 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 20 bucks, because companies were pretty much giving the jerseys away because they're not gonna sell anymore. So that's what you do. Whether it's Champ Sports, whether it's Fanatics, whether it's Finish Line, whether it's Foot Locker, you go to the jersey section. You go to the lowest price, you start scrolling, and you buy like baseball jerseys of the players that just got traded. But let's just keep it real. A lot of you guys aren't really into baseball anyway, so does it necessarily matter if the player's jersey got traded? Like if the player got traded, if you're wearing the jersey? Now I'm gonna keep it real. When it comes to basketball and when it comes to football, I can't wear any other jersey except for the Miami Heat and the New York Jets because those are my teams. But I have definitely tried it out with Fanatics and I have definitely tried it out with baseball jerseys, basketball jerseys, and football jerseys. And I can say that if you go to Fanatics, you go to each individual section, you will be able to find a jersey in each kind of category that you will find. But one more thing that I do have to show you guys. Hold on one minute. Oh. Ah, ah. 
sorry about that. A lot of you guys do not know how to choose the right jersey. A lot of you guys don't know what it is to look for in a jersey. You don't know what to look for in a jersey. I'm about to hook you up. I'm about to help you out right here. Now, the first jersey I'm going to show you is a jersey that I wore yesterday, and that is this New York Yankees Derek Jeter jersey. When you buy baseball jerseys, when you buy a jersey in general, you just don't buy the jersey. No, you need to make sure that there is quality on it. You need to make sure that the logo on the left pocket is stitched. Yes, it needs to be stitched. You have to make sure that there is a name on the back. You need to be authentic with it. You can't just be wearing the jersey without no name on the back. Your jerseys have to have a name on the back. You need to make sure that it has the number on the back. Just to make sure that it's real, you have to make sure that everything is stitched perfectly. You have to make sure that it has a number two on it. I don't exactly know how you can tell how every single jersey is real or fake because you're gonna have to do your research on that. But like I said, when it comes to selecting jerseys, just a little tip for me. Make sure that you always go for stitched. Look, if you don't buy a jersey that's not stitched, then the jersey's gonna wear out. And if the jersey wears out, then that's pretty much a waste of money because you're not, you, you pretty much have limited wears with it, in my opinion. So like I said, stitched over everything. Now this, goodbye. Now for the next jersey, boom. This is my Miami Heat Dwayne Wade jersey. I'm gonna keep it real. When Dwayne Wade left to go to the Chicago Bulls, I bought this jersey and I cried while doing it what let's go ahead and keep it real but when it comes to buying nba basketball jerseys in my opinion the same rules apply you need to make sure that you go for stitched stitched jerseys always last longer as you can see look at that miami look at how it's two-toned with the white and the red that's double stitched as you can see look at that three look at the d wade three right there how it's double stitched turn it to the back yes the back needs to be stitched also you need a name on the back look at how it's double stitched that's straight quality. You're getting premium content. You're getting premium quality for just a low price. Now, when it comes to basketball, if you guys really don't mind if your jersey on the back kind of has a player who's been recently traded, maybe like an OJ Mayo or like a Jeremy Lin or like a or like a D'Angelo Russell, if you guys want like a D'Angelo Russell Lakers jersey, if that doesn't bother you, then you could definitely mess with that. But when it comes to getting like superstars or star jerseys, then you might just have to wait until the actual company or the actual website lowers the price on the jerseys a little bit but the thing about that is that they don't always lower the prices that crazy it's always just uh like maybe 10 percent off or 15 percent off and that's nothing that's still like you're paying 80 bucks we're just gonna have to keep it real and one more thing that i do have to say when it comes to buying nba jerseys is that look at the side Look at the side panel. You know how on every NBA jersey, there's always like different color schemes. There's always different color spectrums on the side. You need to make sure that the color spectrum and the color side looks as good, looks as close to the real as possible. Cause yes, these jerseys are real. Yes, these jerseys are definitely real, but the jersey that they wear on the court is way different from the jerseys that you buy. You're just gonna have to keep it real. And the last thing that I do have to show you guys is designer jerseys now before i get into designer jerseys hockey jerseys are definitely dope i don't own any i need to own some so hockey jerseys are definitely on my list football jerseys are definitely on my list make sure that when you do everything you always go stitched don't ever buy a screen print jersey because that's a waste of money now designer jerseys now plenty of brands have designer jerseys supreme bape huff dgk all kinds of brands have designer jerseys and this designer jersey also is one from dgk now as you can see this one is extremely dope i've shown this before i've worn this in multiple videos it's all gray with that green and that red attachment on it now this is just extremely dope this is just a little dope colorway i just think that that's dope and i pretty much just threw this in there just to show you guys that if you guys like let's just say you guys don't really want any sports jerseys you guys can still go the designer route and still mess with some designer jerseys now the designer jerseys it might be hard for you to find them for cheaper but there's just another option in jerseys if you want them now the last thing that i have to tell you is sizing when it comes to sizing for jerseys i recommend that you always go up a size on jerseys look this jersey that i'm wearing right now this new york Mets jersey is a size large in my opinion, I just like when jerseys fit bigger because it feels like you can get more wear out of them and it feels like they will last longer. Like I've had this jersey since last year. I've had that Yankees jersey since last year and I've worn them a couple times and they both, and they're, and they're lasting. They're lasting. Also make sure that you take care of jerseys because the middle of this is stitched 
and with every single wash the color could potentially fade so make sure that you're pretty much taking really good care of your jerseys because these are very expensive materials these are very expensive items that i'm giving you the keys to get for low price but all right everybody that's the end of this video i hope that you guys have enjoyed listen to the video because i've given you straight keys honestly bro all summer long i've given you guys straight keys straight facts but you guys already know it is nashi season summer 17 grind time thank you guys for watching as always always remember to be a goat i got more videos coming soon and without further ado all i have to say is hey Blessings, 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 and uh, Chris, I got a bow.